as we saw last week, just because the calendar officially says it's fall, temperatures can still be in the 90s, and that means you're working out, whether you're going outside, you need to properly hydrate. And Xavier Brewer, Brewer from X Factor Fitness joins us this morning to talk about it. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, thank you. So one really big important thing is hydration, even though on the calendar it says fall, right? No, there's no doubt about it, especially here in Florida, as the weather's changing, but not so much for us. Uh, a little cold <laughs> outside right now, but right. we know that the heat's still coming. Um, so there's a lot of different things, a reason why hydrating is very important. Um, one thing you got to break it down to the fundamentals, the basics is how much of our body is made up of water. It's about 56 okay. percent. Um, our blood's made of about 80 percent water. Right. So no matter what the temperatures are, we still need to be staying hydrated to um, help our bodies function properly. So what's a good routine, whether you're indoor, outdoors, what should you do as far as staying hydrated? Okay, well, from a minimal standpoint, you need to be having at least half your body weight in ounces daily. Okay. Um, and so that's a good foundation to have, and it's an easy way to count because obviously any water bottle tells you how many ounces is in there, and right. you know how much you weigh by just jumping on the scale. Got it. So that's a simple way to do it. And is it best to just fill up with a water bottle in the morning? Oh, there's no doubt about it. So definitely okay. drink one in the morning. Depend on how much you need to drink daily. So I need about 100 ounces a day. Mm -hmm. So I need to drink about five of those 20-ounce bottles. Wow. Um, so probably two in the morning, one in the afternoon, two at night. No matter how you do it, it's just important that you get it done. And so many people, they'll say, oh, you know, I don't like to drink that much water, but this is critical. Oh, there's definitely, there's no doubt, because there's daily benefits as well that a lot of us kind of forget about or maybe just don't know okay. that um, with our skin. Our skin really needs, needs water to stay hydrated mm -hmm. um, because... We have acne and we have different things that can happen, dry skin, yeah. but water helps um, prevent. And then also, it lubricates our joints. So as the older we get, a lot of people complain about their joints and this or that. If they just try drinking at least that half ounces of water for mm -hmm. at least a month, they'll be surprised how much their body changes. They would be in good shape. No so doubt. you have a lot of athletes that I know that you work with, and a lot of folks will do two-a-days. So do you need to drink even more water when you do two a days? There's no doubt about it. So that's the minimal. Like I was saying with the half ounce, half your body weight in ounces, mm -hmm. that's the minimal amount. So if you're working out, if you're out in that sun, if you know you're sweating a good bit, you need to up to about 20 to 40 ounces. Okay. And then you also have another registration that's open right now for yep. kids to get involved. Talk about that. Oh, yeah. So we have one of the lights. Uh, presented by Under Armour Flag Football League uh -huh. that is open back up in January. We run from January through August. We do three seasons, one in the winter, one in the spring, and one in the summer. So we're open right now for the winter over in Davis Park and in Mandarin okay. and Orange Park. So we have three locations And how can now. folks find out about it? Oh, uh, just go to uaflag.com and just look up the location of your that's closest to you and uh, you can sign up there. Okay, and any other final tips as far as hydration? Oh man, so one final one, there's, there's just so many. Uh -huh. uh, just to think about the long-term benefits as well. So. So actually two things. So the long-term benefits, it helps prevent some forms of cancer, diabetes and stroke. Yes. But then also top in, never turn down the lemon in your water because it also has those um, very important nutrients as far as potassium, vitamin C, vitamin A that also help in nutrition. All right. Thank you so much, Xavier, for joining us.